So I put together a Google a website and for my eighth grade language arts class, which includes daily expectations, it includes announcements, there's a file cabinet, there are resources both for students and parents, um, pretty much as a way to communicate with parents and students alike. So let me just give you a little tour of it. So as I said, when you first get onto the site, this would be the page you see. Um, anyone who visits the site will see what I expect each day. There's a link to the class syllabus. So in case uh, parents were wondering, there's a welcome letter. Uh, there are, scroll down here, it gives of course content of what to expect for the year and the expectations. The policies that we have is a language arts department. Um, classroom expectations for responsibility, respect, and safety. It gives a little background on some of the eighth grade novels that we have, including that we have expanded um, our novel units, our literature circle units, into a large collection that has a variety of backgrounds and places and genres. Our grading policy to help better understand standards-based grading and then what you can do some suggestions what you can do if things aren't going well also on the site oops, get back to okay and as you can see too I put some parent information here parents can click either in this spot where it says weekly assignments or it's a little more uh, clear over to the side here, weekly assignments. They both go to the same link. And each week I update, uh, in general, what you can expect. So like this week I updated because school was canceled on Monday and there was a transition day for the high school scheduled so they could come here and see that it's going to be rescheduled and to see if anything else changed for the week. So it's kind of a nice, parents know where this is, they can click on it. Um, at the bottom of my emails to them is a link to this site. And once in a while I send reminders because sometimes I think it's easy to forget that this is here. All right, back to the main page. I also ha th thought it was nice to have some articles for parents of teens. I know it's hard being a parent myself, and sometimes just seeing some information this one's on raising children this is on focus on the family and I'll just click on one of them to show what it's like but uh, this one I thought was just particularly interesting um, I try to show the parents that I get it I know what teens are like and here you're not alone there's all kinds of articles on very uh, on topics that are very current so it's something on gender issues, on social media, teens and technology, challenges with friendships. So really informative articles and sometimes that's all a parent needs or just a nice tool for them to use if needed. And then if you notice here it's the Advanced Learner blog. Because of my role as one of the Advanced Learner coaches at Jacob Middle School, um, I created this last year before school started and I add to it when I can. Um, it's a blog that gives some resources for parents, teachers, and students. So at the beginning of the year I updated this from last year and to remind parents there's one a question I like to post on here that helps make a connection, gets communication going with parents. Um, here I came up with several resources for parents of advanced learners to show some of the uh, resources we have provided through our own variable gift and talented resource page and then again um, if they're interested in opportunities around Wisconsin for them both during the school year and after the school year we have right now we're in the midst of Yahara River Writings anthology project more information um, National History Day contest information then some more articles that might be helpful to someone who's a parent of an advanced learner to help understand better.
So besides that blog um, and all these expectations, I also have over the years uh, compiled several items in a file cabinet. So this resource is here for um, it's accessible for students if they're at home and they need to do an article of the week. Um, there's a ReadWorks digital link which they've just created this article of the week through ReadWorks it, where uh, it concentrates on adding in more informational text and comprehending and um, learning building knowledge base and they're very brief articles so it doesn't take up an extenuous amount of time but it, it is just adds to their uh, repertoire I guess of what they know and then there's some optional things of course there's daily essentials I have the class expectations in here I have several rubrics. This year we've been working on updating our rubrics and simplifying them into one um, sp space for everyone to see. We have the thematic analysis writing assessment, which is used three times a year. Um, let's see if I can find the. Yes, this is the most updated on our standards based rubric so with that we're working on this as a district and as a department to have some, a place that we can all kind of be, be consistent um, so this is a project that a uh, committee i'm on standards based learning committee and we've done some work outside of that committee time as well that goes through and is very specific on what standards are covered in which areas in our class so parents and students again are able to see that and then know what to expect. Um, also on here some grammar practice there's when kids are struggling with a certain part in grammar a certain concept I can refer them to one of these practices. Uh, there's a video on prepositions, there's transitive and intransitive verb, so different areas that are difficult for them. Um, we just started using iXL this year, which is an online program, and so parents can look at this or students can log in through this. I also have that on my Google Classroom though, so it's probably easier for them to grasp there. And then some more uh, resources that I use every year. Some practice for map testing, strategies, and word studies, spelling bee, words. And then, of course, for the writing process, so uh, information, how to use EasyBib, how to set up a letter, how to write a persuasive writing, how to some poetry examples, how to write a good thesis, and how to cite works using MLA format. Okay, so let's get back to the file cabinet the main page there's a place for announcements which I have brushed over so right now there's I'm talking about our deadline for a contest coming up other resources that is put a list of all the resources we use um, and a link to it if parents wanted to look at what we're using IXL, Pear Deck, which has been a great student engagement uh, activity that I've implemented this year based on a technology course I took. I think it was during one of the professional development afternoons, but I also have attended the technology day week in the summer that's offered to us. I have a YouTube channel that I often put take some ideas from. Yeah, so let's go back to the main page, see if there's anything else that I need to point out. Um, okay, some extras there at the bottom. And just for my own kind, just to keep some things together, if parents want to know what my experience has been, 
Um, I have a link here. I just kind of went through some of the things that I've done trying to keep a, my professional background um, and my teaching assignments, the committees that I'm a member of, extracurriculars I'm involved with, some recent conferences I've attended, um, and some other activities that I have that I'm involved in outside of school. And then finally, I also have, they're able to view my lesson plans or how I outline them. And this one's a little bare because we did a lot of changing. But basically, I have created a table that outlines what I'm going to do each day. Um, if I can get all the way to the bottom here. I have a setup of over the past weeks, you know, so I can refer back next year. I did this last year as well, and I can compare and see what I did and where we were and anything that I did last year that I could modify, revise, improve upon for this year. See, at the very bottom here, I came up at the beginning of the year of some goals and a basic outline for the school year of what I would cover each day of the week and trying to organize it so that there was a lot of different transitions to keep the kids attention. Okay, so I think that's basically an uh, outline of this. Now, if parents wanted to find this, I could send them an email. Let's just say I'm sending one to Mr. Cannell's daughter. And then at the bottom of my email is where you can find the classroom website. So that's one way to access it. Go straight to it. Um, I also should probably point out under the resources here, I'm going to click on Google Classroom with a little time I have here. Now, for students, you're probably going to ask access Google Classroom more than the website. The website is for them as well, but um, I often take some things from there. So, they each each block has a Google Classroom. I post assignments. This is a review for our end of the semester test, um, and so they those are in the stream. The things that are current that we're working on um, in the about section. There, it's it's like a resource section. So on occasion, we'll do a today's meet conversation. So the link's right there for them, um, so they don't have to type it in the browser. Uh, some creative writing prompts, uh, just to encourage that creativity. Active discussion statements, because this is a nice tool for when we're doing literature circles. Um, just teaching them how to speak with one another is something that they forget to do or not sometimes don't know how to do it um, and then we have a big unit on word stems throughout the year and building vocabulary so there's a place they can go to for reviewing transition words grammar help like how to analyze some just tips on an exam theme um, if they want to check out a book for me in my classroom there's an independent reading form here for them to check out a book Pear Deck and Poll Everywhere, which we use with our Free Write Friday. It's a nice source here. There's the book out to check out for. So, all in all, um, I think that through this website and our Google Classroom, I believe that students and, te students and parents have a lot of ways to communicate with me and to see what's happening in the English language arts classroom.